masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia, defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! And the 2016 Arthur Ashe Courage Award goes to... <laughs> Something tells me he may have a couple Skeletors in his closet. That's not Ellen DeGeneres on steroids, that's Angelo. And sure, flawlessly lip-syncing in a homemade He-Man costume is impressive, but it barely scratches the surface of what he has to offer. Angelo is a former teen heartthrob who is in Menudo, the Latino boy band not the tasty Mexican soup made from cow stomachs and cilantro. Unlike Ricky Martin, he wasn't able to parlay his traumatic childhood into living La Vida Loca money. I don't have any repressed memories because I haven't allowed some therapist to dig through my brain and plant any. A repressed memory can be triggered by anything, a smell, a taste, an episode of Fat Albert. <laughs> Nostalgia was invented by BuzzFeed to trick you into clicking on their poorly written articles. I refuse to use the word listicles. And stop saying your childhood is being destroyed by Hollywood reboots. If your favorite memory as a kid is a cartoon, your past isn't worth remembering. <laughs> but Angela and I have a lot in common. We're both 80s kids who attended UCF and now entertain the masses by squeezing our hot bods into tiny costumes. That's why I flew him to West Hollywood, where I couldn't believe he didn't live already, for this week's Celebrity Profile. God bless Ma and Pa and that adorable brunette in the AT&T commercials. And as always, please send my favorite member of Menudo, Ricky Martin, to come visit me. If not Ricky, then Draco Rosa. Or in a pinch, I'll even take Angelo Garcia. Ah, man, Nudo. Are you a fairy? We don't really like to use that term. No, like an actual fairy. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I have some extra PJs if you want to get in bed. Explain to me what Menudo is. Menudo is a boy band based in Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. And we were the biggest selling Latin boy band in the history of music. As soon as he like began puberty and started growing like facial hair and like body hair, they would give the oldest member a farewell concert. Mm -hmm. And they would introduce a new younger member. A guy with no hair. Would you let your kid be in Menudo? No. Why? When I got in Menudo, my childhood ended, and I had to begin the schedule of an adult, waking up at 5 a.m. to do the 6 a.m. morning show. You on Regis? Are the girls leaving you alone? No. Of course not. They take care of me. That's why I love them. <laughs> Are you gay? Bisexual. Did you have these feelings when you were... 11 in Menudo? I did have feelings like I was attracted to both sexes. However, when you're 11, you don't understand what that is. Of course not. You were in the, uh, Menudo with Ricky Martin. Mm -hmm. Were you so happy when he came out? I was so proud of him. Because he waited a long time. I feel that he was protecting his music career. And at the time, I think but Melissa Etheridge it... was out and Katie Lang, and I think that was it in the, the night. Katie Lang. You don't want to compare Ricky Martin to Katie Lang. Lesbianism <laughs> is a lot more accepted. The thought of two women together is actually appealing to. Unless it's Katie Lang. Unless it's Katie Lang. When's the last time you spoke to Ricky? I ran into him and it was totally serendipitous. I was staying at a mutual friend of all of ours, and then all of a sudden I hear this voice, and I'm like, that's Ricky. Or as we call him Geeky. Geeky? That's his nickname, Geeky. Oh, to be on the inside of this. <laughs> Geeky, yeah. Geeky. So I like woke up again, I opened the door and he's down. Huge boner. There. Just a normal boner in the morning? You know what? I actually do get like morning wood. Of course. <laughs> I'm gonna name my boners Geeky. <laughs> Talk about some of the bad things that have happened to you in your life. Go ahead. Well, um, like, what do you mean? Like, for real, for real? Okay, yeah, give me some real stuff. Let's see how I handle it. I was this. bullied as a child. My dad died, like, a week, like, two or three days before Christmas. I was sexually molested from Multiple the Multiple times? A neighbor when I was eight in Menudo was somebody that was friends within the administration. And then it was a teacher. All of a sudden, one of those orthodox Jews with the curls walks in and he starts fondling himself. Everything you say is a huge downer. You should have your own songs to station. You've done so many covers. If I 
Delusions of Grandeur, that's, which is, that's an original. Yeah, I wrote that. I you wrote, wrote that. that. It's so, so sexual. There's people licking you. It just. Well, I'm an actually sexual person. Well, I think we all are. And so many people don't own that. The reason why we exist is because our parents. F you know what I mean? Whoa. Don't talk about my family like that. <laughs> I want to talk about your he man. First of all, your cover song. It's had like over like 10 million views. Yeah. Well, it's because it's amazing. Of course, you got like the haters like calling you like fag and like gay and this and that, but it's like, hello, well, he man's like the gayest like superhero ever. I've gotten people that are like, oh, my childhood's ruined and like stuff like that. <laughs> oh, well, wait till they see what we're going to do. Coming this fall from Culver City's CD downtown area. He-Man, the musical, the sexual masters of the universe, starring Angelo Garcia. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the many secrets of Castle Gate Skull. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and learned there's a sexy buff dude waiting to come out. I just had to shout. By the power of Gay Skull, I have the power. Daniel Tosh as Skeletor. How I long for yesteryear when I was a ripped god with a sick bod. But years of roids and reckless sex have wasted me away. Help me, beast man. Don't miss all of your favorite homoerotic characters from Eternia. He man is a gay man. He's perfect. He's hairless. He even has a cat. He man is a gay man. Adventure, abs, battle cat advance, fist will stay behind me. Cover you've got bestowed deep within your hiding. <laughs> All the intrigue you'd expect from something like this with even more gay undertones than the original. Sometimes I forget why we even fight. Sometimes I think of you when I go to bed at night. Kneel before me and surrender. Take off your pants, your ass looks tender. I don't have lips or much of a face. I could do worse. I, I want to be the master of your universe. Relive your childhood exactly as you remember it. Will you take this here man? Special guest, Ricky Martin as Orko. Book your ticket today. Special discounts available for U.S. military and biracial beef cuts. Just more proof that I'm part of Hollywood's master plan to turn your children into a bunch of queers.